Kripana means those who are anxious for enjoying uh, sense gratification uh, by the um, fruits of their labor, uh, they are called Kripana. And those who have sacrificed the whole body, whole intelligence, uh, sacrifice, you always remember, what we can sacrifice? Just like the take Ganges water from Ganges and offer Ganges. So everything is obtained from God. And now if we offer the same thing to God, then we become liberated. Actually, and I am not proprietor in anything. Myself is also not. And I am also the part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. So these are the conceptions. Without this conception, without this God conception, there is no spiritual realization and there is no happiness either personally or impersonally or socially or economically or politically. There cannot be. Of course, today there is no time. Otherwise, I would have recited. Those who have got my books, you will see that how much and profusely the earth was producing during the time of Maharaj Yudhisthi. Because the executive head of the state was a pious. The how nature was helping. Nature was helping. Now, now India there is scarcity, scarcity of food stock. But the same India was producing so much grains even during British time, that many thousands and thousand tons of rice were being exported from India to other countries. You see, that I have seen. I have seen. My maternal uncle was very rich man, was simply exporting rice to the foreign countries. Yes. Spices, an old history will find that India, they had got their own sieves for exporting spices to Greece and, and other countries of Europe. The history is there. Uh, uh, they were supplying and uh, muslin cloth. Oh, they do, uh, even, uh, even just before the British period, the Muslim period. So India's export, export, I mean to say, statistics was far greater than other countries. And these spices and other export attracted persons from Europe. Then Vasco de Gama and the Columbus also wanted to go, but he fortunately came to America. Uh, you see, all these Europeans and the Britishers went and established their supremacy. Uh, so India was so rich. But now, how that India has become so poor? The same land is there. Uh, why? Because they have lost that old culture, God consciousness. Uh, and at least uh, my calculation is that the state, mm. secular state, secular, secular state, man, he has not, here in America you have got a state religion. Uh, you have got state religion. But in India there is no state religion. Every country has state religion. Even Pakistan, it has divided, uh, it is now a part of India. But they have also their state religion. But unfortunately India has no state religion. That means, Deliberately, they are trying to uh, disconnect with God religion. God religion. But in the same India, you just read the history uh, at 5,000 years before, how much profusely the nature was supplied. In the morning, we are studying uh, uh, that uh, portion, uh, Mr. Paul was reading that portion. How much nature was giving, and so nature can give you uh, any, any anything. Uh, but after all, it is the nature that supplies your necessities, not the industry. Industry is simply transformed in a different way, and a certain class make profit out of it. Uh, industry does not mean really economic improvement. Real economic improvement means. What you produce from the land, uh, that requires God's help. Uh, without raw materials, even your industry cannot go on. Uh, just like I have uh, 
and he cited the example of paper. Now paper, now this paper is made from wood. Now if there is no sufficient, now you have got in America sufficient wood, so you can um, make, produce paper in large quantity. But suppose the woods are finished, then the industry will be finished. Anyway, no, we should always be in conscious that everything that we have in our position, even our body, even our mind, even our energy, everything, that is God gifted. One who has got this conception of life, he is Brahman. Uh, he is the one who knows Brahman. One who does not know this and simply uh, leave for sense gratification, he is called the miser. So we shall not be miser, we shall be uh, the Brahmana. That should be our 